What's up? It's Sunday Sermon. Today's subject is about the five key nutrients you need in your diet. This is going to be a little different than some of the posts I've done in the past about certain um, supplements, omegas, and certain vitamins you've heard me recommend. See, in the fitness industry, we often place a lot of our focus on consuming protein and the other two macronutrients, carbs and fat, and neglect other important aspects such as micronutrients, vitamins, and of course, minerals. In this video, I will dive into five key minerals you may be in need of to optimize your diet and health. Minerals may actually have a key role in how you digest food, store fat, and perform in the gym and fight diseases. So let's get started. My name is Coach Clarence from Coach Clarence Fitness and Nutrition, Clarence Ferguson. I am a fitness and nutrition professional. I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to dive right in. Okay, minerals are classed as micronutrients, which have a variety of metabolic functions within the human body. Minerals can be broken down into two categories, macro minerals and trace elements. Currently recognized ones are three macro minerals and nine trace elements that should be consumed daily. While the recommended Doses provide a minimal amount to avoid deficiencies and support your body's daily functions. It's also important to note the difference between avoiding a deficiency and optimizing your personal levels. Most of you listening to this will want to optimize your diet and therefore macronutrient intake should be something you should be concerned with, especially if you're very active because it's going to obviously increase your body's requirements. Generally, the recommended doses can be too low when you're trying to optimize every aspect of health and performance. Here is five key minerals that have the most relevance to active people. Number one, calcium. Most of us know that calcium is essential for developing healthy bones and teeth, but those are just a few key benefits. In fact, calcium also assists in blood clotting, muscle contractions, and nerve impulse transmission. Interestingly, exercise may increase calcium loss. Ladies in particular generally have lower calcium levels due to a combination of factors that I won't even get into here. Also, long-term research suggests that inadequate calcium intake may increase your risk of osteoporosis. You've heard that. The recommended amount for calcium is 100 milligrams. However, those of you who are physically active may require an even higher dose. Here are some foods that are naturally rich in calcium. Kale, cabbage, broccoli, oranges, celery, sesame streets. Now clearly if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, and you can get your calcium obviously from traditional dairy products, but I don't believe you need to eat the extreme amounts recommended by the dairy industry. And if you're obviously lactose intolerant or you have an allergic reaction to dairy products, then I would suggest that you use a plant-based version to get what you need from calcium. Number two, magnesium. Magnesium is another key mineral being involved in over 300 enzymatic reaction. Magnesium functions in the body are very diverse, ranging from regulating muscle contractions, oxygen delivery, and even initiating protein synthesis. Magnesium may also play a role in insulin sensitivity. It has also been shown that low magnesium levels may decrease your body's ability to to mediate blood sugar uptake into cells. Also aside from insulin sensitivity, magnesium supplementation may also aid in sleep quality and help you relax, which makes it one of the most popular nighttime supplements. I personally myself use a zinc magnesium supplement before I go to bed. The recommended amount of magnesium is 400 milligrams per day, which you can take at night as a standalone supplement or as part of a ZMA blend like a lot of people do. Here's some foods that are naturally rich in meta uh, magnesium. Wheat, rice, cocoa powder, almonds, hazelnuts, cashews, spinach, avocado, oatmeal. Number three on my list is iron. Iron is generally involved in red blood cell formation and function. Iron also plays a role in oxygen transport and the utilization of energy, making it crucial for athletes and people who want to optimize their performance. Interestingly, out of all the minerals that I'm going to talk about today, the most common that is most people are deficient in generally is iron, especially in athletes, females, vegans, vegetarians. Iron deficiency may occur for several reasons. However, generally it's related to inadequate nutrients, excess high intensity exercise, or large amounts of bleeding. 
If you are within a high-risk group, such as one of those that I mentioned, it is important to track your iron content via a blood analysis. Iron deficiency can lead to reduced performance, fatigue, dizziness, as well as some other serious health issues, such as anemia, which you've probably heard quite often. For most, iron levels can be brought up through simple nutritional interventions by adding in several food groups that are higher in iron. In severe cases such as vegans, vegetarians, females, and those with anemia, food alone is unlikely to raise one's levels, meaning supplementation is definitely going to be needed. The RDA for iron is 8 milligrams. However, those supplementing for low iron or anemia may take up to 50 milligrams per day. Here are some example foods that are naturally rich in iron. Liver, beef, pork, poultry, clams, oysters, almonds, green beans. Obviously, if you're not a meat eater, you're going to go with the plant versions to get your iron. And again, I can give you some recommendation. Number four on my list is zinc. Zinc is a very diverse mineral involved in a variety of functions throughout the body, including digestion, metabolism, reproduction, and even wound healing. Zinc deficiencies may result in a loss of body weight fatigue, decreased muscular endurance, therefore it's essential to consume enough zinc throughout your diet, especially if you're super active. Um, now, if you're deficient in zinc, supplementation may provide you with some benefit. However, it is important to note that research on zinc supplementation in terms of performance is very limited and the evidence is mixed in terms of if zinc and performance enhancement go hand in hand. For the most part, you can get zinc throughout your diet if you're combining a variety of foods and you're looking to optimize your levels. Around 30 to 50 milligrams of zinc per day is recommended. Also, if you're taking magnesium, you can combine both again by taking a ZMA mix at night before you go to bed. Here's some foods that are high in zinc. Um, oysters, beef, veal, lamb, pork, chicken. Then your plant-based sources are gonna be lima beans, black-eyed peas, white beans. Um, number five on my list is potassium. Potassium is another less known but very essential mineral that has like a variety of functions within the human body. Potassium helps maintain proper fluid balance, assist in heart and muscle function. Potassium is probably best known as a protective mineral. A lot of research showing it can reduce the level, uh, risk of strokes as well as osteoporosis. Recently, some researchers investigated the effects of potassium and its proposed protective effects on strokes and brain health. These researchers found out by increasing potassium intake to around 4,000 milligrams a day, stroke risk was decreased by 24%. Wow, it's crazy. Potassium has also been shown to have a protective effect on bone health because it reduces calcium retention and thus may prevent excess bone breakdown. Unlike other minerals such as iron, potassium is still relatively safe in high doses. The current recommended amount is 4,700 milligrams per day. But there are several uh, food sources that are, especially in fruits and vegetables, that are extremely high in potassium, so it's pretty easy to get. Supplementation generally is not required unless there are people with specific medical conditions. Example foods that generally are high naturally in potassium are going to be bananas, avocados, spinach, sweet potatoes, coconut water, white beans, acorn squash, chocolate, and strawberries. So there you have my five key minerals you might want to consider supplementing with, or if you already take them. Add a little more depending on how physically active you are. And if you need good sources, obviously reach out to me. I can tell you where to find these. Just message me. I want you to thanks for listening and tuning in, and we'll speak soon. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to shed some light on. Have a wonderful day, and I hope this was helpful. Take care. Ciao.